You know, I recently sat down with Sixers guard Ben Simmons, and he and I discussed the team's battle for the number one seed in the East, his reaction to being mentioned in trade talks, why he feels he deserves to win the Defensive Player of the Year award. Yeah, you're going to want to listen to this. For us, everybody's going to feed up what we do, so we have to set the tone. So you guys have spent a few weeks now in a pretty intense battle for the number one seed in the East. Wednesday's game against Brooklyn is going to go a long way to determining tiebreakers and the eventual standings. What is it like for you when the stakes are juiced like that? Um, you know, it, it makes us um, really fight, you know, every game. You know, every game is important for us. And whenever you can play at home, uh, especially, you know, playing in Philadelphia, um, you know, we typically have a great home record, um, you know, so we want that number one seed. We want to be able to, you know, play at home and, you know, have those few games uh, to, you know, start off. There's been some fan backlash against the amount of talent assembled in Brooklyn. When you look at that, what do you think? There's one ball. <laughs> There's one ball and you have to play defense still. So, um, you know, I take pride in playing defense. I know, you know, if I'm able to get stops and, and you know, give give guys a hard time um, doing their job, then, you know, we're going to be able to go further. They, they have a lot of talent, um, but at the same time, you got to play together as a team game. You guys are no slouch in the talent department either, but you've had talent on this team for a while. What is it about the way that talent is clicking this season that has you right at the top of the Eastern Conference? It's really coming together this year, you know, with Joe and all the addition with Dwight, um, Danny, Seth. Um, Tobias has been great. Um, and having those vets, I think, you know, Danny and Dwight coming in, you know, they, they've shared a lot of, the, of their experiences. Um, and they really, you know, they really believe in this team. And, you know, it's coming from two guys who just won a championship um, and have been there. So, you know, it's, it's positive for us. Um, and then also Doc coming in. You know, Doc's been great, holding everybody accountable, um, which is huge for this team. You were open in training camp this year about that accountability factor being so important. What did you feel this team needed in terms of being held more accountable and how has that happened this year? It's about, you know, staying focused, you know, and not getting, you know, caught up in all the all the stuff going on around on the outside. Um, you know, we have to stay locked in and we have to know, you know, it, it's hard to win. You know, I've, I've been there. I've been, you know, that one shot with Kawhi against the Raptors. That was tough, you know, um, but that, that was an experience where it made me think, you know, it's, it's, it's not easy to win, um, especially when it comes to playoffs. The irony, of course, of comparing you guys to Brooklyn is that Philadelphia was the other team in the James Harden trade talks, and you know your name reportedly came up in those talks. What did you think at the time, and did anyone in the front office talk to you about it? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I definitely spoke to you know people around. Um, and they told me I, I wasn't going anywhere. It's a tough time, but at the same time, you know, it, it is a business, and um, you know, I'm, I'm still trying to win, regardless of where I go. Your coach, Doc Rivers, was really outspoken around that time saying, hey, I like what we have. And he has been in particular a really big supporter of you and your game and really leaning into what you can do instead of highlighting in any way what they want you to get, quote, better at. What has that meant to you? It means a lot. You know, I, I believe my ability to make this team better and, and help win a championship. And I think we have the pieces to do it. Um, yeah, I, I've, I've experienced playing against those teams and playing the top tier teams. So, um, I think we do have what it takes to, you know, be the champions. I do want to talk about your time at home because you were put into quarantine for a week right before the All-Star game. What was that like to fly down to Atlanta, feel like you're going to be in an All-Star game, and then not so much? It was stressful. It wasn't good for my mental, definitely not. For me, I try to, I mean, I think the one thing was stay off social media. Um, I feel like when you're, you, know, you got too much time in your hands and you're on social media reading, into things um, that doesn't help. You know, for me, I was just trying to stay, stay fit, work out, um, and, and be ready to come back to my team. All right, let's get back to your coach, Doc Rivers, because he came on the jump and he made a serious case for you as Defensive Player of the Year. Ben is a lot, like to me. He just, he guards every position. Like he, he literally at times swallows players, and, mm -hmm. and I've not seen that. Do you agree with him? Definitely. 100%. You know, I'm one of those guys who can guard one through five. Um, obviously, it's a lot of respect for Rudy. You know, I know what he's capable of. I know, you know, he, he, he's he's great down there in the paint, but he's he's not guarding everybody. Um, and that that's just what it is. I mean, he guarded me in Utah. And I had 42. And there I'm you not, go. I, and apparently, I'm not a scorer, so it is what it is. But you know, I have a lot of respect for him. But at the same time, um, I think it, it, I think it's mine this year.
Now, Joel has said that he thinks he's Defensive Player of the Year. I want to be Defensive Player of the Year. And Doc, to that, said, yeah, he can have MVP, Ben's Defensive Player. <laughs> yeah, Joe. Are you okay with that split? That's fine. I'll take that. That's fine. How are things clicking with you and Joel this season compared to other seasons you played together? I think they've been great. I think, um, you know, over the years, we, our, you know, relationship continues to grow. And it's been great, you know. I got a lot of respect for Joey. Dwight Howard said that even in the short time he's been there since this offseason, he said he feels like he's seen the relationship between you and Joel grow and that you guys have started doing more social stuff together. Is that the case? Definitely. I think, you know, with everything going on and just where the world's at right now, um, you appreciate the little things. I think, you know, the years that we have had, you know, it just continues to build um, with all these different experiences going on. And, you know, I got a lot of respect for Joe. All right, so big picture question. How good can the Sixers be this year? How far can you guys go? I think we can win it all. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.